and welcome to an Everyday Canines video. In this series we're looking at the Kennel Club Good Citizen Dog Scheme and we're looking at puppy level. So we're up to exercise nine which is loose lead walking. What we want to see is a puppy that's going to walk nicely on a lead but we're not looking for heel work and bearing in mind the age of the puppy we are understanding that there may be occasional tight leads if they get distracted or whatsoever and that won't prevent the dog from passing this level. What we're after is a general behaviour, general behaviour that the dog is walking nicely, they're not dragging us across, <laughs> madam, or doing anything or pulling towards other dogs that could interfere with another dog's progress as they're going around, or potentially um, doing something like lunging and barking at another dog. So we're just looking at gentle behaviour. Now, usually this is done in a class environment with other dogs because they are potentially a distraction however the exercise does say without distractions so it can be done without other dogs present if needs be because this is that, at that level okay so we want to walk magpie we want to be walking for about 20 paces and we're going to do a couple of turns again it's not formal heel work we're just going to be sort of doing nice loose turns to demonstrate she's going to stay with us when we're going around now generally when i'm doing this I have my treats in this hand, but I usually have a little tiny one in this hand ready so I can reward when I want to. And I always tend to have my hand on my hip a bit like when I'm doing heel work to sort of assist the dog out and give a visual cue. That being said, I also can do this without a cue there. So are you ready? And we're not worrying about how close, it's just as long as this lead is loose. Okay, you ready? So we're gonna go, Max. Nice, good. Now, can you see, because we've done the puppy recalls, Magpie's pulling in front of me because she thinks we're doing the puppy recalls again and she's clever. So we're going to make sure I'm rewarding her. Nice. Okay, can you come around? Good. And I don't want that. You see where she's jumping up at the hand? Don't want that. Nice. Now, it doesn't say in the exercise that you can't reward during the exercise, and usually these are assessed during class time, but obviously that will be at instructor discretion. So you might want to do, good girl. Nice big circle, and we'll change this way. Beautiful, good girl. And rewarding her when she's got her feet on the ground. So that is probably actually more formal than you need. Because I do teach my dogs to do things like heel work and stuff, they tend to do things more formally in these things than you need. In actual fact, it could be much looser than that, and the puppy could go off and just sniff something for a second, and as long as they came back, when you asked them to, or they started moving again, that would be acceptable. I mean, she's um, nearly a year now, we've obviously done a lot, and um, she does tend to be rather good at these things. Good girl. Now I'm turning right, as well as left, oops, thank you. Good girl. Just so you're aware, when you've got your dog on the left, turning away from, well, let's say, whichever side your dog is on, it doesn't have to be on your left, that's just the heel work position, but you don't have to have them on the left. But whichever side you choose to have the dog on, turning away from them tends to be the easier turn, aside from the fact that it tends to be the turn where the dog loses focus because they'll see something you're turning away they'll look at something depends on the dog if the dog is really into you that's not a problem turning into the dog can be harder because the dog if you look the dog has now got to adjust itself to turn with you so that can be harder good girl good girl but that's the basic premise now as i said she does know what she's doing with her job but obviously you might have a puppy that stops and sniffs looks at another dog loses focus that's okay an occasional tight lead is not a fault and it's not a, a not ready it will it's just a case of at this level we're demonstrating that it's a generally they'll keep with us and pay attention good girl so i hope that's all made sense to you and you've enjoyed this video and if you have you might like to subscribe to our youtube channel and you can check us out on facebook instagram and twitter and i hope to see you all again very very soon